my name is Elizabeth Oliveira and right now I'm a senior product designer at Zata. I used to live in Lisbon, now I'm living in Aveiro because of the price of the houses. I just decided to move, you know. So first of all, what is like the SVGs and what I like in SVGs is because it's, uh, first of all, a vector. So it doesn't lose quality. Uh, when we use like vector files, um, instead of using raster file like J JPEGs and uh, GIFs. Um, but the good thing about uh, SVGs, if you compare with other type of images, it's because you can access the code. You can actually look at the code and you would have like this HTML, XTML that's very similar to HTML. And because of that, you can interact with the code and use JavaScript to create like some interaction. This is the good things of the SVGs, the scalability. You never like uh, lose quality. You can make it big, small, and the quality, because it's a vector, is always going to be there. The file size. Even if you put a very big SVG or very small, the file size is always going to be the same. When you have like a raster, a raster type of image like JPEG, if you make it too large, it's going to have a few megabytes. If it's too small, um, it won't have too much megabytes, but if you increase, it does not look good. And the good thing about SVGs, as I said before, is the interactivity. So this is what we want to build. Um, it's a cassette tape that is going to play a song, a hip hop song that I have called Fork This. That is like a geek song. <laughs> and so, but how do we think in components? You can grab all the SVG and maybe I could have like this very large file and then just start putting the JavaScript there. But um, as I said, like it is going to be a very, very large file, a lot of lines of code. So if you're going to use React.js, we can split uh, in components. Um, so this is how I'm going to split that design. First, this is called the controls component. It's where we're going to have the play and pause and the next and previous track. As you can see, I have the play and pause there because then with, I will going to export the SVG. And then um, with code, I can say, if it's playing, I want to show the pause button. If it's not playing, I want to show the play uh, icon. And this is going to be the sticker component where the title of the song uh, is going to appear. And then we want to have some animations. And then we have these that I'm going to call the wheels component. And basically when, what I want to do is when the cassette, when this audio is playing, I want this to rotate. And I'm going to use framer motion for that. And then this is like a component that doesn't do anything, but it has a lot of lines of code. So it's going to be called the background component. And then this is where the animation, another animation is going to happen. And it's called the circles components, very creative name. And the idea of this animation is to bounce uh, with the sound. So this was for me the most difficult part to do it. Uh, as I said, I'm a designer. I'm not very, very good with code. I use a lot of ChatGPT help saying, hey, ChatGPT, how can I do this? He helped me explaining, and it, I, actually I was able, at some point I was almost quitting. I don't want to have no more bounce animations, but at the end, ChatGPT helped me. Okay, so let's see how can you do that, uh, how can I animate this cassette tape, and I'm going to use one project called PenPot. Uh, and PenPot, it's an open source um, software, it's almost like Figma but the good thing is open source. So I have it here, and this is my component. Um, and I, as I said, I split the components um, on the different names, um, wheels, stickers, and then what I want to do is I want to export. If I was exporting all the cassette tape, you can see here on the right side, a lot of lines of code. So we don't want to do that. We want to, for example, export the background, copy paste the code. Then what I'm going to do is to convert to React. 
I don't have internet, but I would convert this and then this would be converted. And then after converting that, I would have like the components. For this one, as you can see, it's not doing anything special. I'm just having the uh, React and the code here. And that's it. And then I would, so now as you can see, this is my project using React.js. Now I have that background component enabled. And then I could export another part. Let's say, let's export the wheels component. I would do the same. Export the component. And then I already have it here. So now I have the wheels here, but for this component, as I said, I want to animate and for that I'm going to use Framer Motion and displaying, I have this variant. What is this variant do, doing is basically I have two animations. One that is stopped, so I, I'm saying I don't want to, to rotate it, is zero, zero. And when it's playing, it's rotated from zero to minus uh, uh, 360. And it's negative because I want to rotate in the opposite way. Um, and then I have one transition, and I want it like this duration of three seconds. But this animation is going to be infinity, so it's going to happen always. So I could actually just do this, so you can see. All right. See, I could do this and the, the wheel was going, but I want this to interact with my audio. So it should only, only start playing when the audio is playing. So I'm passing from the parent component. I have this, all this audio, I'm using the web audio API and this is where the chat GPT helped me a lot. And um, so uh, then I pass all these things like, I have all these states, if it's playing, I say to the cassette tape wheels is playing. So it's a children component. And then in the children component, I can see, okay, it's playing, so I want to play that variant playing that go from zero to minus 36, 360. If it's not playing, it stopped. So let's enable the control where the audio lives. As you can see, I'm using this audio, as you can see audio here. This is a native HTML element that um, it plays with the web audio API, but it's not doing here anything. It's just here, but I'm actually controlling with React.js. So I create all these properties, next track, previous track, is playing, and the toggle play pause, and I'm passing to the tape controls that now I have enabled. So now when I press play, the rotate animation, He's happening. Okay, and now let's go to another component, the cassette tape sticker. The sticker basically, I have here the playlist. So I'm storing the playlist, what is the current track into a React.js state, and then I'm just passing that to the sticker components, and then I have three versions of the song. At the end, you can go to GitHub and uh, and there's also, this is all, all, also online. So we have the first version that is like the, the music with my voice and the instrumental. And then there's the karaoke version. <laughs> and the karaoke version, uh, it has some background voices, but not the main one. And then I have just the instrumental. So you can pick the version you want to play. Okay, now let's go to the other component, the missing one, the one that was most difficult for me to do it. And it was that circle component. 
And for this circle component, I could use framer motion. And I was thinking, how can I do this? Uh, ChatGPT, can you help me? Actually, it was not helpful. Um, it was overcomplicated. And then I just thought, okay, if I, if somehow I can grab the what is the audio frequency, then I can maybe make the ellipse of that circles going a large and smaller according uh, to the frequency of the song. So for that. Uh, and when I started this project, first of all, I didn't want to use the web audio API. I just use, I was using a plugin, a normal plugin uh, for React, a package, um, to play the audio and to create a playlist. But because I wanted to create the audio visualization, I didn't have a way to analyze the audio. So at some point, the code became, became really messy because I had that component, that package, and then I had to use the Web Audio API to analyze the song. So at some point, I said, I'm going to stop using this package and just use the Web Audio API for everything. So this is um, how I do the, um, the visualization part. So I get this get by frequency data that uh, from the analyzer node of the audio. And then what I'm doing is I have this ellipse radius uh, state that I'm saving. Um, and then I make it large or smaller according to the frequency of the song. So it's enabled. It's enabled. So I can maybe remove the background and the wheels. Oh, and the sticker. And now we can see. And first I had to find uh, a good number because it was so big that it was getting out of the cassette tape. So I found one number <laughs> that worked. Okay, now we have all the concepts ready and I'm going to ask your help and we're going to sing together if you help me. But for that we need the lyrics of the song. And first, uh, the first time for this project, because it's an open source project, um, and I presented at Penpot Fest in Barcelona this year. Uh, and the first version, um, I had just the text of all the lyrics here, and I have to scroll down. And then one friend of mine decided to contribute and improve the way the lyrics um, ap appears, and he decided to use AI for that. And he said, okay, let me use AI, and the AI is going to, um, to get the lyrics from your voice. But the problem is I'm not an uh, English native speaker, so the lyric was not correct. <laughs> so then, but I really liked the, the way he did it, like the visualization, and I said, okay, now I can create that uh, lyrics visualizer with code. So it was a really boring thing to do. So I have to analyze the, the time of the song, what is the current time, and then it just find the lyric by the time I have an object. Um, and, and for that time, it um, shows that part of the lyric. So I had to go song, the song like at zero, this is the part of the lyric, at 10, 22, and it was a very boring thing to do. <laughs> at some point I was, oh, I'm going to quit. <laughs> Why is this song so long? But, but that's it. For the, I can show you the chorus. 
where I need your help, it's just, let me clue. I'm just going to say like, I'm coding like a criminal, designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible and all of you say, fork this, I'm original. Okay, let's try. I'm coding like a criminal, designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible, fork this, I'm original. I'm coding like a criminal, designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible, fork this, I'm original. Okay, so now let's do the karaoke version. Oh, one thing, the lyric visualizer. So many work and... Are you devs ready? I'm a designer who codes. Yeah, they call me Miyuki. Are you ready? Are you ready? I've been designing with ten thoughts, open stores, connecting every thought, server side and rendering next. You can call me explorer, edge, no more life cycles, react. You can call me lightweight, react. I'm way too complicated, type script, but I'm still in this class. Type this, learning from mistakes, Microsoft, more than a million skills, Lara Crofts, trying to look back. And you are, I don't have an expression, regular, animating SVGs, original. Let me kill it one time, so you know. What's me giving a talk? Netflix, I'm gonna keep it short. PS6, I'm coding like a criminal, designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible, are you? For this, I'm original. I'm coding like a criminal, designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible. For this, I'm original. Yeah. Yeah, open source screen, old school curl, coding with beam, give up size, give up beam, the big and free, it's changing the scene. Yeah, open source screen, old school curl, coding with beam, give up size, give up beam, the big and free, it's changing the scene. I'm an old school girl, hi fi, Sony can tell, Mega Drive, Sony can rhyme, Spotify, you devs can see me, Wi Fi, no competition, goodbye, no one can be. Wish me alright, another level, that's right. Call me eleven, sci-fi. <laughs> I'm coding like a criminal, designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible. For this, I'm original. I'm coding like a criminal, designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible. For this, I'm original. I'm coding like a criminal. Designing like a miracle. They say I'm invisible. For this, I'm original. I'm coding like a criminal. Designing like a miracle. They say I'm original. For this, I'm original. And that's it. And that's the end. <laughs> So you can find the project uh, here, penpot fork this, uh, dot verse, uh, dot app. Uh, That's my Twitter if you want to follow. And that's all. Thank you. <laughs>